quarters because, uh, well, Broken just disappeared with quickness. Shout out to Uran for doing the 50 cent coupon for tonight. Yo, Uran. Let's Thank go. You. <laughs> anyway, Pikachu versus Day to Day. Take it away, bud. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, this is the type of whip we're having right now. Yo, Carrero so. is crazy, bro. You got to check out this DDD. He's mad aggressive, smart, hits them buttons defensively. Yeah. And um, you know what other character hits buttons? Pikachu. Hell yeah. To see who hits the buttons the hardest. Joe Pone doing the smart thing, staying away with the lead. Yeah, T Jolt camping, T Jolt camping offline is annoying. T Jolt camping is still online annoying. though. Yeah, it's. <laughs> you, you wanted to go up and around there, my friend. <laughs> Not straight into his mouth. <laughs> Interesting approach though. Jump straight into it, yeah. I, I, I think Joe Pone thought they were gonna like go right through it though, but. I guess that's not how it works. It's really good to know. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Yeah, Jopon's doing a really good job, especially when Guerrero is at the ledge. I'm just keeping a good distance away from him. Because you know sometimes DD, DDD is like the ledge stall and goes up airs and stuff at ledge. <laughs> this looks goofy, man. It's just both trading percentage. Did you? That's hilarious, the fact that that clanks with it. And, um, yeah. yeah. I forgot what frame he's able to react to it and then throw it back. Oh, Definitely. like the re hit with the hammer? Yeah, like the, the rebound with it. Yeah, I have no idea. That's definitely DDD's most interactive move. Wow, what a back air. Kills! Sir? From mid stage. That's a mallet. Yeah, Joe Pond definitely had a chance to recover, but something happened with the. Uh, I think he might have jumped. He just jumped in the blast zone, but. Nice way to. Come back, but he chose to go off stage again. Grabs the ledge. Tech! Yeah, good tech. We Goretto tech. tech. And the big armor from the up B. Tries to chase with that side B. 820% for that, my guy. Yeah, it was way too Not far. Safe, <clears throat> I, like, I like the choice. I like the choice of going for that. It's, a, it's very aggressive, very uh, catchy slipping type maneuvering right there. Just to hit him with that, that meaty dash attack. Yeah. It wasn't meaty enough. Yeah, best case scenario, you could have hit him with the Bermuda Triangle DI, and he may he probably would have lost his stock for that. But yeah, yeah, exactly. He would have been with the question mark DI straight yeah. off the side. He was not ready for a DI. Ooh, Why nice. would you do that DI? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the, like, what the what? DI? Wait Back for here. the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a good spot for Joe Pone. <laughs> yes. Ooh, too far. Nice use of the Thunder Jolt to get this grab punish. Yeah. Big damage from really Joe Pone. Oh, the back air though. Almost strong enough to kill. Oh, this is good damage, good positioning. Going for it a little too early. Joe Pone making their presence known. And can we talk about how Joe Pone has pretty much just been T Jolt camping and trying to find his way in with a um, quick attack? while Guerrero's in center stage back airing. Oh, that's good damage. That. Oh, yeah, the armor's gonna definitely kick him. Wow, got too close. And this is that, why he wasn't approaching at the ledge. <laughs> you gotta taste the meat mallets. Yeah, and Guerrero's at, at, with the lead, and he's gonna sit back, and I agree with this. You've done a little Gordo here and there. Ooh, Ooh. that I'll be with. If only DDD was fast enough to punish that, right? Am I right, if guys? DDD wasn't a penguin. Yeah, a yeah. whole fat penguin just, you know, slow enough to not run away all the way across the stage just to punish them. Yeah. But Guerrero's still choosing to go in. Yeah, go and now, in now, it's, yeah, now it's on Joe Pond to try to approach. And Pikachu, even though Pikachu's insane, doesn't have the best time approaching all the time. So. Understandable, it's why they choose to go for these Thunder Jolts, just to find some answers here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, with that down and, smash. Decent and punish. I'm liking, yeah, and I'm liking how Guerrero is playing very grounded right now. Because Pikachu, he's, right now, Jopan's definitely looking for that jump, that jump read with the forward air, and he's not giving it to him at all. Trying to find a mistake here, but Guerrero being the wall that they are, making it super hard for Jopan. Forward air connects. Tied up stocks, but this is looking very good for Guerrero. Potentially, not nah, still two minutes in. Maybe too early. But oh, 
Okay, we took. Imagine you didn't take that. <laughs> imagine if you didn't take imagine that. Imagine you didn't take that. Just imagine. In an alternate reality, you didn't take that. You would have been dead. Would have been sad. <laughs> would have been down the game and sad. And dead. Nice and Guerrero to realize the shielding was taking too long. Goes for another grab. Yeah. The stage is his. The, the ledge is his. <laughs> oh, the forwarder connects. And Guerrero yeah. takes it. Yeah, and Game Joe Fon tried to pick an up tilt right there, and Guerrero was like, <laughs> You, you want to trade with me? You forwarder? <laughs> Stupid rat. <laughs> <laughs> you want to trade with me? Damn it, let me go get my mallet. <laughs> Just swung on him. Uh. Yeah, it's good stuff by Guerrero though. Um, and it was a really, it was a really good way that he held that lead, um, and just didn't overcommit once he once he got that big advantage because Jopan was really struggling to find that second stock. I mean, excuse me, that first stock, I should say, and the second stock actually. No thinking about it. Yeah, true. They're definitely a wall. in Jopan's plan. Jopan tried to scheme something here with these thunder jolts. There's they were getting openings, but they weren't finishing the job. They were being let in the door, but they weren't, you know, being let out the door. <laughs> they were like, stuck in there. Yeah, and and um, Jopan might need to mix up uh, what he's going to do offensively because T Dolt camping him and just trying to find his way in with quick attack didn't really net him much um, because he was st still struggling to find the kill and. Guerrero was content with just sitting back and throwing up back here. But we're going to go back to FB anyway. What do you think about this? Interesting choice. This is a really good stage for Pikachu to catch a DDD with. It's just it's just how uh, Jopon has to catch them. And to make sure when they do open these doors with these Thunder Jolts, these approaches, they, they got to get their bank for their buck for it. They got to make sure their hits count. Because letting DDD run away or trading with them is, is pretty bad. <laughs> as DDD can kill you as early as like 90. <laughs> yeah, like you're not going to win a lot of these trades against uh, DDD at this point. So. Guerrero is a really interesting DDD as they choose to scrap in defensive situations too. So, so gain something back here. So essentially fight back out of the situation. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, no, sometimes you have to fight back. And a lot of these. Um, back airs that he's throwing out, Guerrero, are just middle of the stage defensive, looking for anything, looking for oh, an approach. Oh, clean. Approach. That was disgusting. Clean up smash. Command grab. At the side, Joe Pone, can they get this forward air? To con oh, he has six jumps. Six or five. Yeah. One aspect of Peach Pikachu's game right now is pretty much, pretty much non existent. There's been no edge guarding whatsoever against DDD. Out of all the heavies, DDD definitely has like the best recovery. Has like good yeah. armor on his upbeat. Yeah, probably. Multiple jumps. Oh, yeah, K roll too. K roll too. It's the armor that definitely does it for him, though. Yeah, and nice um, good. Thanks for that follow, Nemo. Was it like Nemo something? Yeah, shouts to Nemo. Thank you for the follow. Congrats to you. Ooh, sucked him right off the stage. Oh, and did would that slip off? Okay. Wow. That would have, that would have been insane set up. That fadeaway forward air barely missed Joe Pong's face. Joe Pong. Oh, wow, that didn't work? Okay, interesting. Yeah. Low profile coming out from Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu, of course. Pancake Master. Happens to just avoid the slightest. The slightest dangers from their their hitboxes, hurt boxes. Ooh, that back air though. Oh, Guerrero looking yeah. really strong. That back air connects again. Seventeen percent. That's a lot for one move. That's a lot. Yeah, and wow. Okay, and um, Joe Punk getting that thunder read. I'm also liking how Guerrero oh. approaches with these uh, side air dodges too, just to get some sort of positioning. That's mm -hmm. a great way to grab the ledge there. Oh, smacks the, the Gordo out. Yeah, and right now, Joe Pond's problem is like when he's going air to air with DDD, he's swinging first. And Guerrero literally just taking a taking a step back, throwing out a back air, throwing out an air, right? He's giving Joe Pond all the space that he wants, and Joe Pond's not really, not really doing anything with that space that he's getting. 
As covering these approaches, being the wall that he is. Guerrero looking to take this game here. Ooh, interesting setup. Oh, and the foot attack didn't care. Oh, it's on the ledge. You can't touch it. You can't go near it. He's safe. It's a free grab on the ledge. Tries to set up again. Forwarder connects. Not going to take the stock. DDD heavy boy. 130%. Oh, the shield. Nice that. tag. We tech those. We tech those. Guerrero. Oh, oh this is big damage. Fourth throw? Yeah, no, it's not. It good. almost killed. That's insane. That, that, that angle is disgusting. It's not going to kill. Joe pulling down by a lot, oh, but this back no. air comes right through to clean up the stock. Guerrero, two stock and Joe Pone. Uh, okay, we need to talk about the back airs because... um, They're getting too clean on Pikachu of all characters, right? Like We need to talk about this Joe Pone. This, you, need fight, you need to fight back, my guy. You gotta fight back. <laughs> <laughs> These are hitting your, your dome a little too clean, my friend. Like, like, actually, no. We, you sh actually, no. Let me correct that statement. <laughs> fight back a little bit less. Right. A little bit less, yeah. Like, like get up first, yeah. and then fight back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's... just look how clean he hits these, man. There's... They're well placed. Like, he's timing them well. Like, he's catching these approaches. Ready? He's not giving uh, Joe Pone an inch of uh, control in this match. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, and... And it's funny because um, it's almost like he's giving Jopon Jopon all the space that he wants, and he's just like, "You stay in my area, but this is my area, and you have to deal with me being in my area." Now you figured that out. <laughs> oh, already in his head, taking this quick thirty-five with that that neutral being the dash attack. It's like he knew what he was gonna do. Round start, just like you're just gonna run in, right? <laughs> so here's this, this this neutral B. <laughs> just inhale real quick. Just come here. Already seeing a lot more nares coming out from Joe Pond. Wow, what a trade. I do like wow. the aggression from Joe Pond, though. They, he has to, like, find a way to make DDD uncomfortable so like, they wish something wrong and then punish them really hard for it. It was just. Yeah, because Guerrero is still no stops. Guerrero is covering all, like, angles here, like, on defense and offense here. Yes. Oh, that was interesting, Thunder. Because that is one advantage that Pikachu has. Pikachu does have the frame data advantage, right? But um, if you're not abusing that frame data correctly, like, you know, getting in DDD's face, um, it's not going to really net you anything. Oh, that Nair. Died for that. Almost died for that. Down tilt two. Same option for DDD to have, just throw out one of DDD's fastest options. I have to say, that was a nice couple of things. Yet again, and it killed. He's rolling on him. It's dash take on uh, the stock off the no tech. That was. That was. That was, was, ma was magic. It's <laughs> magical. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Very, very interesting way that uh, Joe Pone set that up too. Yeah, because you, you'll see, you'll see Pika just go for the run up down tilt. Um. Ooh, the trip off the down tilt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should have netted more damage for Joe Pone, but Joe Pone only matched to sneak in one extra hit. Yeah, and, and that's one thing that's been pretty interesting about this set. Joe Pone hasn't really been able to combo Guerrero for too long, right? Well, we've been seeing like two piece, three piece hits here and there, but hasn't, it hasn't been a lot of these like long combos that sometimes you'll see coming out from Pikachu. Ooh, the tech. Always count on Guerrero to tech that. You're not catching him with that? Ooh, nice, nice. Survives it. Yeah, it's also as to how Guerrero is also throwing off Joe Pone as how they answer on, on defense. Nice catch with the up smash there to take that stock. Because Guerrero is not afraid to swing. Yeah. As you can see there, like... This guy is, like, putting the fear of God on you with this hammer. Mm -hmm. Nice cross up. Yeah, and, and honestly, like, 24% is good, but I feel like against DDD, who's like a heavy pass follower, you should be getting, like, way more, like, right? Yeah. 40, like, 40%, at least. True, true. Some nair loops here and there. Mm -hmm. Girl, not the, not afraid to trade. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's definitely fighting. He's definitely fighting out the corner. And you have to do that as DDD, because this advantage can't be the greatest, 
Um, so you have to mix it up. You have to be aggressive, you know. Especially when you can be. Oh. Heavy enough to live most of Pikachu's kill setups. Ooh, with the back air. No. Ooh, wow, he rolls right past them. Ooh, tries to catch him without tilt there, too, but... Pikachu hit first. Oh, Down tilt again. This is a good spot for Guerrero. One good ledge setup can definitely take the stock. Gives chase. Jopon has to has less time to recover from that ledge grab. Oh, misses. Oh, he went the wrong he survives. Way. No, oh, he got oh, it. Oh, wow. Jopon misses their opportunity just to get back on the stage and just die. So. Yeah. Guerrero's positioning right there. Look at that. And I feel like that's been the story of the set. Uh, Jopon whiffing buttons in front of Guerrero's face and Guerrero just retaliating. Um, look, how, look at the way Guerrero just like landed right back on the stage too. He's just like, oh, I'm up here. All right, cool. Let's go quickly land back on the stage. Land here before you and just kill you. That was, that was really good. And then this down tilt, getting mm -hmm. that kill there. Oh, he did back air. Oh, he did back air. Yeah. Oh, and it sent him back. Oh, what a weird angle it sent him at. Yeah, like the landing, the landing splash hit of um, back air is um, it's a hitbox. Oh, that was really, like that was a forced really attack situation. That was really. I thought it props you up. Um, no, like if 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 it hit if it hit the last hit, it'll it'll send you in that, a direction like that. Yeah, pretty annoying. Mm. It's a pretty annoying move. And I also feel like Jopon respected the Gorda way too much. And I feel like that's a common thing uh, for people who haven't fought DDD that much. I feel like that's a common theme of respecting Gordo way too much. Gordo is a, it's a decent move, right? It's not bad. But um, there are ways, right, that you can exploit it, especially a character like Pikachu. Like, you could come up, you could come up the ledge, forward air, up air, right? Just get the Gordo away from you um, and then still recover. You know, you don't have to take that mix that like some characters have to take that mix, you know, and it seems like Joe Pong is kind of just content with, well, not content with, but just um, taking that mix at the ledge from Gordo and not really doing anything about it.